Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a massive werewolf, Asar the pack leader from Journeyman Miniatures and Temple of the West. All right, so Ashgar the pack leader comes in a little box like this. Um, if you get them from Journeyman Miniatures in France, uh, packaging slightly different if you get them from Temple of the West. Also the contents are slightly different. Um, so if you get it from Temple of the West, you get uh, cards so it can be used in confrontation and I think confrontation continuum as well. Um, so he's nicely packed. Comes with a little sticker of his big buddy, the uh, Minotaur. And a honking big square base, like nature intended. Uh, square base is 50 mil. So doesn't really make a difference because I'm going to be putting them on a 37 and a half mil confrontation base or 35 mil as I generally call it. We get two bags, resin cast, as you might imagine. So one bag contains the majority of our pack leader. So you can see there, nice detail on it. Slight seam line running down the middle of that arm. Should be easy to clean. Big honking sprue gate there and there on the waist, but these parts will go together, so that's not an issue. Might be a little bit close to the detail on the back of the belt though. We'll see when I clean it. Overall, very nice. Huge axe with those very distinctive Rackham-esque scrolls, the, uh, the hard edge spiral. I'm not sure who's responsible for that. I think it might have been Terry. And the other bag contains his massive stone back banner. A couple of skulls on it. Uh, a little base topper that he stands on. He also has the dimples on his feet. So yeah, just nest into that. We have his head tail and details. So including a skull and the back banner itself. It all looks very well cast. I can't see any obvious air bubbles and slippage slash mold lines is non-existent really. So it's just the sprue glates to clean um, and then give them a bit of a bath and put them all together. So, well that's interesting. Hmm. I shall be back when that is done. Okay, Ashgar is built. Oh, he's a massive, massive beast. Um, I wasn't actually expecting him to be that big. I've built um, a couple of confrontation models from Journeyman slash Temple of the West before, uh, but this guy really is the pack leader. Some lovely detail. You can see that unusual sort of gouged neck that allowed the, the head to recess means that the join is hidden without uh, a big mold line on. We'll have a little bit of fill to do on the hairline but depending how you're painting this, if you're going with a, like a black or dark grey base coat, you probably wouldn't need to worry about that so much. Some gorgeous detail on them. Um, these little armoured pieces. And this one here had a recess on the loincloth that gave me a direction. The rest, not so much. Um, I just had a look where they were on the built model. Um, but otherwise you could probably stick them wherever you want, to be brutally honest. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Some really nice detail, things like the uh, animal skull attached to the uh, big crescent moon. And the detail on that axe as well, with those spirals. Uh, Size-wise... Two, 
top of the moon is about 100 mil. To eye level is just about 68 millimeters tall. Um, I think he will fit on a standard 35 confrontation base. Um, I haven't gone hooking for any yet. This is an old 40 mil, sorry, an old 50 mil, which he will sit on quite nicely. As you can see, the um, there's a lot of room there with the rock. So I don't know if, if I will, if I can find the original base size, I will pop him on that probably, but at least I can um, default back to another confrontation base of a similar size. Stunning figure um, based off the concept artwork. A really excellent execution and so much detail throughout him between the, the leather armor with the trim to the, the studs and even the chains on this hand. I mean, it's just, it's just absolutely gorgeous. A wealth of detail should paint up an absolute dream. Uh, if you pick him up with Temple of the West uh, from their run, then you will have options for cards for both their new Confrontation Continuum skirmish game that they're working on and the original um, Confrontation stat line. Uh, if you do not have access to that, if you're in Europe, uh, you can always get the Confrontation Club app, um, which is a little treat. You can get in there, pluck out the Wolfen, and then find your choice either the pack leader or the pack leader's second edition, which is upgunned, shall we say. So you've got a full stat line plus card. Uh, you can see he's moved on a bit since the old days. I still really like that model because I've got one somewhere. Um, but you can see the, uh, the details have been carried across. So the same sort of... Um, sculpting that went into the, the original you still have that style um, on the model itself because obviously all based off the same concept artwork uh, so there we have asgar pack leader so there we have it a beautiful beautiful piece of resin uh, an absolute monster a beast on the tabletop and in gameplay as well if you happen to be into your old school confrontation um Really nice figure, excellently put together as always. So even if you're not a uh, confrontation fan or player, uh, definitely you can pick one of these up for fantasy war gaming in general. If you need a Lycan Alpha for Kings of War, it's a great way of doing that. Uh, if you're just looking for some sort of fantasy werewolf or maybe just a painting challenge, uh, then he's definitely got a lot going on for him. Let me know what you think below. Until next time, bye-bye. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.